So you're thinking about getting either an English Shepherd or an Australian Shepherd and you're not sure which one or what the differences are between the two. So today I'm going to look at the differences between the English Shepherd and the Australian Shepherd. And I'm going to set one here next to me so I have something to compare it to. So these dogs look very similar and they have a lot of similarities. As a matter of fact, there's just a few little differences in the breed, but that can make a big difference when you're trying to make a choice. So first I'll talk about the similarities between the English Shepherd and the Australian Shepherd. Both of these dogs were made in the USA. So they're both homegrown dogs made in the USA. They're both descendants of Collies. They're both herding dogs. Descendants of Collies, herding dogs made in the USA. Okay, so we're this far. The looks wise, these breeds are very similar too. So if you're at a dog park and someone has an English Shepherd or an Australian Shepherd, you might look at it and think, okay, what, what is that? Is that an English Shepherd, Australian Shepherd, which one? So I'm gonna tell you some of the differences in the looks, how you can tell the difference between an English Shepherd and an Australian Shepherd. The first thing is English Shepherds have big brown eyes. Usually their eyes are always brown. Now the English Shepherd can have blue eyes if the head is white or it can have one brown eye and one blue eye on the side of the head that's white. If it has a split face and the white side can have a blue eye. So those are the exceptions but usually they have brown eyes. The English Shepherd usually has blue eyes so that's one difference. English Shepherds come in brown and white. This is called Misty's a sable and white. That's what she's considered. She has some dark markings in her, some uh, black and everything, but she's considered sable and white. There's also a clear sable and white, which is a lighter color sable and white only, where there's no dark markings, no black markings. It's just got a clear sable and white dog. That, that's also an option. They can also be tricolor, which is black, white, and tan. And those are the most common colors of an English Shepherd. One thing to note is English Shepherds do not come in merle. So if you see a merle colored dog, that's an Australian Shepherd because English Shepherds only come in brown, black, white, tan, and those type of colors and the clear sable and white, they don't come in merle. Another thing to look for to distinguish the difference between English Shepherds and Australian Shepherds are that English Shepherds, can you come around and show us Misty? Come here, let's see, get up, come on. With your toy? Well, English Shepherds are very handsy. That's one thing. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to put a picture up because Misty is not going to... Okay, maybe she's going to cooperate. Come on, wag your tail. Okay, she is not going to cooperate with us today. She doesn't want you to know anything about English Shepherds other than the fact that they, <laughs> they like to use their hands. But English Shepherds always have a tail. They have a big, bushy Misty's tail hangs down to the floor and she's standing here we got her she's finally going to show us her tail misty let's see your tail misty's tail hangs all the way down to the floor when she's standing still and she can put it up over her back and when she waves it it'll slap you in the face but it's there and it's big and bushy australian shepherds most of the time do not have a tail they have a natural bobtail now i think there's some cases where an, uh, an australian shepherd will have a tail but in most cases, Australian Shepherds, there she goes hitting me in the face with it. Come over here, honey. We're talking about Australian Shepherds. She says, I'm not an Australian Shepherd. <laughs> anyway, Australian Shepherds usually have a, a natural bob tail. So if the dog doesn't have a tail, it's an Australian Shepherd. If it does have a tail, then it's an English Shepherd. Another thing that English Shepherds and Australian Shepherds have in common is they're both very high energy dogs and they need a lot of exercise to keep them busy. They're, they're very smart, so they need something that's gonna exercise. Okay, now here's the perfect example right here. An English Shepherd is a very bossy dog. And right now she has decided, she has looked in her toy box over there. Let mommy talk. She doesn't like to get toys out of her toy box herself because it rattles, because it's under the table, and that scares her. So she looks in her toy box, now she's complaining. Missy, you're doing perfect for this video and showing English Shepherd personality. Thank you. So anyway, what she's done is she saw her toy box. She decided she wants a toy out of it. 
So now she's complaining and barking while we're trying to shoot a Misty and Me video because she would rather be playing with her toy. So I'll show you another thing that's smart with her. I'm gonna get the toy out that I think that she wants and I'm gonna ask her to bring it to me if she wants it. Misty, do you want milk bun in the blue bone? You do want milk bun in the blue bone? Go get blue bun. Thank you, good girl. So now I'm gonna be obligated to give her milk bone in the blue bone because I did offer to give her milk bone in the blue bone. Oh, another thing, if I don't go and put milk bone in the blue bone, she'll throw blue bone at my head. <laughs> I'll see you, honey. I'll go put milk bone in the blue bone, okay? Can we finish filming or are you gonna throw blue? <laughs> okay, so we, we interrupt this episode of Misty and Me because of our bossy English Shepherd wants a milk bone in her blue bone. Now that we are effectively enjoying milk bone in the blue bone, maybe we can continue with this episode of Misty and Me. As I was saying, these are both high energy dogs that are gonna need a lot of exercise, at least an hour a day, but in most cases more, and we've just lost Misty to go get her blue bone again. I was just getting ready to start a grooming segment, Misty. Can we get rid of the... Where you at? Come here, let's do grooming segment. Thank you. Okay, grooming requirements. Come here, come here, come here. Now we're playing guard dog, which is another point. English Shepherds are English Shepherds are great guard dogs. Anything that comes by their house, they're gonna alert you to it. Misty, I see the neighbor mowing the lawn. Let's get busy with Misty and me, okay? From experience, English Shepherds shed like crazy. I'm just gonna give you just a really quick little example here. Here, come here. Okay, I did probably 10 swipes, if that. And this brush is full. And I could, I could sit here and do that all day long. <laughs> Never pull out all the fur. Now, one thing I do like to do is to call her ears. I'm assuming all you other English Shepherd people out there, do you have this problem? Her ears look like a rat's nest. They, they need to be brushed and messed up. Also, the, please come here, Misty. Thank you. You are just not in a cooperative mood today. Okay, let's comb your ears. And also this area back around their, their butt gets a little unruly and kind of looks like a rat's nest. So we got ear problems and butt problems on the English Shepherd. As a matter of fact, she has to go to the groomer very soon. There's an English Shepherd that is refusing to cooperate for this video. So much so that I forgot what my point was. Okay, mommy totally forgot what she was gonna say. I am gonna have to take her in for grooming very soon because her feathers were hanging down I'd say her feathers on the back of her legs were about six inches long, easy. And I would take her for a hike in the park and the leaves would get hung up in the feathers and knotted up so much that I, I had to cut them out. I couldn't comb them out. I couldn't do anything with them. They would get kind of wet and matted in there. It was a disaster. So I was trying to cut the leaves out of her feathers and I cut little things. She ends <laughs> Now she has no feathers because I ended up having to cut the feathers off, off of both of her legs, her front legs, because I had them hacked up so bad. So now I'm going to have to take her into the groomer and see if they can trim her up a little to make her look a little better because I cut all of her feathers off. Sorry about that, Misty. Luckily, I didn't get going on her ears or we probably wouldn't even be able to have her on camera right now. Right? Right. <laughs> She's staring at me. Missy, honey, you're really cutting up for this video. I'm trying to <laughs> By the time we get finished with this video, everybody's gonna get an Australian Shepherd because they're gonna say English <laughs> English Shepherds are just not, <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you, English Shepherds are bossy and we're just starting to, she always looks like this little easy going girl on the video, like, oh, I'm just so cooperative. Now today she's gonna show how she is. She's a little bossy girl. So those are the differences between English Shepherd and Australian Shepherd. They're actually not very, Misty Sue, honey. Be quiet for the video. Actually very, very similar dogs. Originated in the United States. They're both herding dogs, both descendants of collies. They're around the same size. They need a lot of exercise. All of that's the same. Really the only differences I can see 
are the eye color, coat color, and the fact that one has a tail and one doesn't. And there, there may be a little bit of a difference as far as the coarseness of the coat. I think the uh, Australian Shepherd has a little bit coarser coat than English Shepherd. As far as grooming needs, I'd say those are about the same because Misty sheds. I'm sure that Australian Shepherds probably shed as well, even though I've never personally owned one. And so they're going to need frequent brushing, a lot of exercise, a lot of brain activity. Blue Bone is brain activity for Misty because she has to figure out how to get the milk bone out of the Blue Bone, which keeps her busy usually for quite a while. Do you want Blue Bone? Bring Mommy Blue Bone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> Thank you for disrupting our whole comparison video with Blue Bone. I'm glad, I'm glad Blue Bone could be a part of it today. So thank you for watching Misty and me and Bluebone, and we'll see you again next week. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>